Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tone Money XL, and I'm back with another reaction video. If you like me, you're probably sitting here wondering, what the hell is time, bro? Like, we sitting here and we look at this clock every day. We kind of watch the sun go up and go down, and uh, yeah, man, it's it's literally just time. Like, we're sitting here, and someone just kind of told us what time it is, and we just all like naturally go with it. Um, and if you was ever wondering how that happens, you feel me? We finna watch this video explaining the full history, time, and uh, the future of everything, man. Apparently, this is finna be, this is gonna explain it all, so uh, let's see what we got. Time makes sense in small pieces. But when you look at huge stretches of time, it's almost impossible to wrap your head around things. Facts, bro. So, let's start small. Come on, man. Let me know, let me know some. Days. You probably spent the last 24 hours mostly sleeping and working, and you probably wasted a good chunk of yesterday on the internet. <laughs> Days yeah. become weeks, weeks become months, and then we have a year. On me, and then eventually you would have wasted your fucking life, bro, because you were doing nothing but tweeting and making memes. Remember that. Go get off your ass, touch some grass, and uh, go do something productive with your day, man. Why is worth some time? Let's look at 2017. France started to train eagles to hunt terrorist drones. A Czech nuclear power plant held a bikini contest to pick their new intern. And people on the internet made a challenge out of eating bleach. You know. Hey, Thai Pods. Let's yes, sir. Back. That's America. A kid born in the first year of the 21st century is 18 years old. Now. Hold on, bro. Because my dog is bugging me, man. Let me get a retreat. Oh, shit. Maxi, bro, I can't have you fucking up these videos, man. You gonna do something and get out, man. Get out of my way. Just leave me alone, please. I just need like 10 more minutes, alright? Alright, man. We got our distraction going, man. Let's go. But the century is still young, even if you're not. It was largely shaped by the attacks on 9-11, which led to the war in Afghanistan and the invasion of Iraq. In March 2011, the Syrian civil war began and is still ongoing after seven years. Most of us were born in the 20th oh. century. Mind you, this video was made a little bit ago, so I don't know if, like, a lot of this stuff... Which had the two most devastating wars in human history, and the Cold War. But, like, a lot of this shit For did the first happen. Time ever, Just, we like... We destroy ourselves with nuclear weapons, you feel and me? we almost did, but we also had a space race, and left Earth for the first time. The internet was also invented, which led to memes, but also to Facebook and Twitter, so all in all, we're not sure... Hey man, if you're watching this though, follow me on Twitter, bro, at ToneMoneyXL. You can find me on ToneMoneyXL, literally on all platforms. So uh, yeah, man, ToneMoneyXL, all over the internet. But this was a good development. Shameless plug, the but hey. <laughs> years, which covers a good chunk of recent history. The oldest living person on Earth is currently Salino Jaramillo, who was born in 1896 which means that his birth was closer to Napoleon ruling Europe than to the current day. Only 250 years ago, the Industrial Revolution turned the I world I wonder who the oldest person machine. is like today. Farmers became workers and knowledge became easier to distribute. Around this time, we started the progress that is causing climate change today. Not that long ago, actually. The theory of evolution changed how we saw ourselves and the world we live in. Newton wrote down his theory of gravity. We discovered distant stars and very close bacteria. The 15th century was very eventful. Columbus's discovery of America and the fall of Constantinople marked the end of the Middle Ages. War was all the rage in the Middle Ages. I love how they put the, the Columbus in quotes, disease. So, that's the Black funny. Plague killed every third European in just six years. Uh. Around 2,000 years ago, we set the arbitrary year one of our calendar that most of the world follows today. But to a Roman, the world was already ancient. The Great Pyramids were constructed 4,500 years ago. So to a Roman, the pyramids were older than the Romans are to us today. So long ago that there were still living mammoths on Earth. 
A lot yeah. of history happened before that even. Around 7,000 years ago, humans began writing things down. About 12,000 years ago, human organization exploded. We built our first temple, Damn. and around the world, mankind began farming, which enabled the rise of larger communities. 12,000 years our ago is crazy. over planet Earth really begins here. Homo sapiens sapiens, the modern human, evolved at least 200,000 years ago. Damn! 50,000 years ago, the cognitive revolution expanded our minds and innovation. Back then, we shared Earth with at least five other human species that either died out or were killed by us. Damn! At least two million years ago, our ancestors already had control over fire and constructed tools from wood and stone. And six million years ago, the last common ancestors of chimpanzees and humans existed. So this graph is all of human history. Our close relative Homo erectus survived 10 times longer than we have existed. This tiny part is the human era. We have to zoom in a lot to even see your lifetime. Still, all of human history is not that long. 65 million years ago, the age of the dinosaurs ended in an enormous explosion. The dinosaurs ruled the Earth for over 165 million years, 27 times as long as all humans. That's so long that it means a T-Rex that lived 65 million years ago is closer to us today than to a live Stegosaurus. Mm. Dinosaurs in the form of mighty chickens are still around today. Animal life on this planet started 600 million years ago. What? The earliest animals were fish and other small, simple sea creatures. Hold on, bro. So if a T-Rex is a chicken, does that mean we shrunk them? Had to have been, bro. Had to have been. Because, look... If a T-Rex looks just like a chicken, right? There must have had to be some type of like failed experiment where we got a hold of like a T-Rex or something and tried to shrink it. But instead of it like, you feel me, giving us like a little mini baby T-Rex, it gave us a fucking chicken, bro. And yeah, man, that's how we have chickens today. But yeah, no, that that's wild. That's that's even insane to think of. Still around today. Animal life on this planet started 600 million years ago. The earliest animals were fish and other small, simple sea creatures. Then came insects, then reptiles, and finally, around 200 million years ago, mammals joined the party. Life itself began much further back. There is evidence that it appeared That's up crazy, to 4 bro. 1 billion years 4 .1 ago. 4.1 billion years ago. For at least 3.5 billion years, life consisted only of single-celled organisms. What? 4.5 billion years ago, the sun was born from a gigantic imploding gas cloud. 60 million what? years later, Earth formed. In those Sheesh. early years, frequent bombardment by comets and asteroids supplied the Earth with large oceans. But as far as the whole universe goes, our solar system is pretty new. Bro, we were literally just Imagine atoms floating in space. billion years ago, the universe was born. And about half a billion years later, our own galaxy formed from billions of stars. Oh my gosh. But what came before the Big Bang? The truth is, we don't, we don't know, fucking know. Maybe we never will. And there you have it, the past. Uh -huh. Now let's take a look at what we know about the future. In roughly one billion years, the sun will be so hot that life on Earth becomes impossible. The death of the sun four billion years later marks the end of life in the solar system. Whoa! If we want to have a chance to survive, we need to have ventured to the stars. And what happens after that? In the next 100 billion years, most of the bigger stars around will die. The universe becomes dimmer and dimmer, illuminated only by smaller red and white dwarfs. But they too will eventually burn out, and one day, the last star in the universe will die. The universe will turn dark, and at some point, Bro, even why is this so depressing? will evaporate and die. When they do, our universe will reach its final stage, heat death. Nothing changes anymore, the universe is dead. 
<laughs> like, what the fuck, bro? Like, why is this now, so depressing? You're feeling some pretty weird feelings right now, aren't you? Yeah, we nah, are bro. It's only natural. Because why, why is this it so is depressing? Far, far away. The only time that actually matters is now. Man. That cute girl or boy you like, ask them out. Time is precious. Make it count. Okay, bad. One of the questions. All right, man. So that's the end of the video, man. Time, apparently, is. I don't even know, bro. It's crazy, but we still got a lot of life left, man. Like bro said, if you if you see that girl that you like, man, go ahead and pop your shit, man. Go and ask her out already, bro. Stop being lame. Quit being such a fucking loser and uh. Go chase your dreams, man. Go go and collect the bag that you've been needing. Go and go and holler at that shorty that you've been meeting a pop at, man. Um, and you know, if you if you need to handle your business, man, take that time and work on yourself, bro. Like get your get your stuff together. It's still plenty of life left to live, apparently. Um, so yeah, man, make that shit count. And you know, keep going. Hey, man, that's going to cap it off for this video. I appreciate you guys for 50 subs. We are on the road to 100. So uh, if you like this, man, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be having more videos dropping soon. And, uh, hey, man, stay tuned, bro, because I might have some TikToks floating around too, man. Y'all might see them already. But, yeah, man, let me know. And, uh, yeah, man, peace out.